For this video, I'm going to talk about an introductory lesson on how to sketch the graph of a polynomial function. And um, before we sketch the graph of this function over on this side, um, let me talk about the uh, several things that we need to consider before sketching the graph of a function. The first one is that the graph of a polynomial function is continuous. Continuous. Ibig sabihin, walang putol yung kanyang graph. So when you sketch, sorry, when you sketch the graph of a polynomial function, for instance, this one, okay, there are no gaps. It's very smooth. Yeah, this one. Walang gap. Okay. And the second one is that uh, there are no there are no sharp turns sharp turns puro rounded lang for instance pag nag drawing tayo ng polynomial uh, there are no sharp turns pag nag iba yung direction kanyare increasing at start Increasing yung graph natin. Uh, increasing. And then, pag naging decreasing na siya, smooth pa rin yung curve. Rounded yung turns. Yan. Gataas. Okay. If you will remember, ano yung graph ng um, absolute value function? Ayun. Uh, hindi ganun. Kasi, ang, ang graph ng absolute value function, um, may sharp turn yun eh. Okay? Uh, remember the graph of f of x is equal to absolute value of x. Yung graph nito has a very, very sharp turn dito sa ito. Yeah, roughly ganyan yung uh, graph niya. So, meron turn dito. So, ganito yung direction and then suddenly ito maas. No. For, for a polynomial function, sobrang smooth ng transition. Rounded lahat ng, ng turns niya. Okay? And then, um, the third one that we need to consider, ano yung end behavior? Let's talk about the end behavior. End behavior. Okay? Saan papunta yung graph mo towards positive infinity? Saan papunta yung graph mo towards negative infinity? Um, let's make a table for this. Pagawa tayo ng table ng end behavior. Oops. Okay. Yan. So, dito, ang mga consider natin for, for the end behavior, um, the degree of the polynomial, kung polynomial yan, polynomial in x for for in, for, in, uh, for instance this one f of x equals x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2 and degree nito 3 yung, yung x yung highest exponent okay so yung degree pwedeng pwedeng even I'll make the brush thicker pwedeng even or odd. Okay? That's the first one. Talk about the degree. The second thing that we need to consider, yung sign ng leading coefficient. Leading coefficient. Coefficient. For this case, yung leading coefficient nito, sorry, yung leading coefficient nito ay 1. It's a positive 1. So, yun. Yeah. So, pwedeng positive or negative. And then, let's talk about the behavior here. Sorry, end behavior. End behavior. Okay. So, even. Even na positive. Okay. So, ito yung mga possible combination. Pwedeng even na negative yung leading coefficient. The other one, pwedeng odd. 
odd na positive and odd na negative negative okay yung end behavior ng polynomial function kapag even yung degree tapos positive yung leading coefficient i um it rises rises to the left and right Okay, anong example ng itsura ng graph nito? So, let's draw. Yung itsura ng graph nito. Okay. Um, it rises to the ra sorry, left and right. So, pwedeng ganito. Ayan, pwedeng ganan yung itsura nung, nung graph mo. Okay. The next thing is, kapag even tapos negative. It falls. Let me brush. It falls to the left and right. Your left and right. Itong, ito yung left. Ito yung right. O parang negative infinity and then positive infinity. Okay? So, ano naman itsura kapag pag even tapos negative? So, itsura naman ito. Um, let's draw again here. So, yung it falls. So, pwedeng pag ganito. Okay. Yan. Pwedeng pag ganan yung itsura nung, nung graph natin. Now, how about odd and then the leading coefficient is positive? Odd and then positive. So, kung add at positive yun, um, it will fall to the left falls to the left falls to the left and then it rises to the right rises to the right and kapag naman odd na negative as a drawing muna natin It falls to the left, and then rises to the right. Yan, pwede yan. Okay, parang ganun yung tura niya. And then kapag odd na, odd na negative, so it rises to the left, but falls to the right. Falls to the right. Okay, yan. So, ang itsura nun, mm -hmm. ang itsura nun ay ganito. It rises to the left and then suddenly falls to the right. Yan. Okay, yan. So, that's the third one, or the third thing that we need to consider bago mag-sketch. Uh, that's the end behavior. And then, the fourth one is the multiplicity sorry multiplicity <clears throat> excuse me kasi pag nag gawa na example mamaya we need to to look for the zeros of the polynomial function and to talk about the zeros mamaya sa next video and then kailangan naka factored form so yung multiplicity ay kung ilang beses nag-occur yung zero or kung ilang beses nag-occur yung yung factor. For instance, um, if you have f of x is equal to if you have f of x is equal to um, x squared times x plus 2 cubed. So, dalawa yung zeros natin dito. Yung isa zero at yung isa naman ay negative 2. So, we say that um, x equal 0 is a 0 of this function of multiplicity 2. Kasi twice siya nag -occur. And then, si negative 2 naman is a 0. So, let's write that. x equals 0 is a, is a 0 of multiplicity 2. Multiplicity 2. And then, negative 2, x equals negative 2 is a 0, is a 0 of multiplicity 
multiplicity multiplicity 3 Ang kailangan din tandaan dito is whether the multiplicity is odd or even. So in this case, this is even multiplicity and this one is an odd multiplicity. Anong kinalaman nun sa graph natin? If the multiplicity is even, the graph will just touch that particular point on the x-axis. So parang ang itsura nun, ah, kapal. If you have an even multiplicity, okay. For instance, uh, meron kang zero dito, zero, and then you have a minus two. It's negative one, negative two. This one. Kung even yung multiplicity, the graph will just touch or magbabounce lang don. So, um, pwedeng ang graph natin, uh. Pwedeng ganito yung graph natin. Tumama siya dyan. Nag, uh, ayan, and then magbabounce dito. Magbabounce. Sa 0. But for an odd multiplicity, it will cross just like this one. It will cross on that particular 0. In this case, it's x-intercept. I'm going to talk about that later. Okay? So kapag ang multiplicity niya even, it will bounce. Or it will just touch. Kapag naman odd yung multiplicity, it will cross. The fifth thing that you need to consider when you going to sketch the graph of a polynomial function is number five, is the number of zeros, zeros, and then the turns. Okay? So a polynomial function of degree n, so a function of degree n, a function, a polynomial function, polynomial function um, of degree n, degree n, um, will have at most n zeros, n zeros. Okay, I will not be showing the proof, I will be showing the proof in some other video, but um, if we have a polynomial, a polynomial function of degree, for instance, 4, so ang ina-expect mo na zeros na makuha mo or factors na makuha mo ay at, le at most 4. So, pwedeng 3, pwedeng 2 lang. And then, the number of turns, the number of turns, to, itong turn, itong, for instance, this one, this is one turn and then that's another turn. Okay? The number of turns is at most n minus 1. So, kung meron kang polynomial of degree 4, you're expecting to have at least, ah, sorry, at most 3 turns. Okay? And uh, these are the 5 things that you need to remember para makagraph tayo ng polynomial function.